Hey everyone, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla, hopefully everyone is doing well. I was recently watching a video by Renee. I think her channel's name is either the Gossamista or Gossamista. I will list it right down here, but I love Renee. I think her recommendations are always spot on. She recently did a video on pores and how to make the appearance of pores look more improved, obviously, you cannot shrink your pores. No matter how many clickbait videos are out there, really can't shrink your pores, but you can do a lot to your skin to make your pores look more improved. And when I was looking at her video, everything that she was talking about, I am such a true believer in that I thought I would kind of show you what I use to keep my pores looking good and what I feel really helps to minimize the appearance of pores. As Renee stated in her video, pores a lot of times are a combination of your genetics. A lot of times age also can make your pores look more pronounced. But the one thing she did mention that I am definitely a true believer in is that you can do a lot to improve the look of your pores. For example, when you have congested looking skin, a skin that has a lot of sebum, black heads, that literally I think stretches your pores out really makes them look unappealing. The more you can do to resurface your skin, make your skin look smoother, don't have a lot of rough patches on your skin, I feel is so beneficial. So some of the products she mentioned or some of the types of products that she mentioned, I am already a true believer in. One is using salicylic acid. I really feel that salicylic acid can help with clearing out any debris you have in your pores. And even though I'm not acne prone. I still use salicylic acid and the one I like is the one from The Ordinary. Inexpensive. I love the consistency of it. It's kind of more of a thicker, gooier, <laughs> feeling serum and all I do is I apply this really in my t-zone area just kind of let it sit in there do this a couple times a week and I find that it really does help the look of any pores I have in my t-zone area don't have pores anywhere else really but I do have a little bit of pores right in here and clearing them out keeping them all clean having no blackheads in that area or whiteheads really does help Help. A true believer in using salicylic acid. The other thing she mentioned was niacinamide and I feel niacinamide really does help with resurfacing your skin and making your skin look smoother. I used to have the niacinamide from The Ordinary. However, I never reached for it a lot because I use NIA24. It's a pro niacin powered cleanser. It's kind of on the line of Abaji a lot of dermatologist office sell this in their office and this has a 1% pro niacin patented formula. It's an anti-aging cleanser. I wash my face with this every morning, kind of let it sit on my face for a little while before I rinse it off. I've been using this for probably 30 years now. It is an expensive cleanser. It lasts a long time. I really do feel that the niacinamide helps with oil production and I feel that it also helps with making my skin look smoother. So I definitely agreed with her on that salicylic acid niacinamide. The third thing and the one product that she mentioned I actually purchased because I thought it was such a great concept for a mask. She had mentioned the company Innisfree. I've tried products from Innisfree before, really have loved them. As a matter of fact, I absolutely love their charcoal toner. I've been using that for the past several months months and I feel it does help clearing out the impurities I have in my pores. The one thing she did mention is that Innisfree makes a pore clearing stick mask. As soon as she showed that, I said, I need that. It was $14, I think, but I just thought the application of that mask in stick form was such a cool idea. You can kind of get it in the nooks and crannies of your face all around your nose. I love products from Innisfree. 
Tree. I believe they are a popular Korean brand, I think. I had to definitely get that stick mask as one of her recommendations. I just felt that I would use that frequently and I have. The third thing she mentioned for helping to resurface your skin and make your skin look smoother are the use of retinoids. I definitely a believer in that. Retin-A has definitely changed my skin for the better. I was recently using this Retin-A from my esthetician's office. It is 0.1%. However, they were out of this the last time I was there and I had to get this one from Obashi. I haven't tried this yet because I'm still finishing up my other Retin-A. Now that I've been using Retin-A, my skin is so much clearer. I don't really ever notice ever having blackheads or whiteheads. I feel that retinoids help with tightening pores, help with congested skin, help with cell turnover. I really do feel they help to tighten your pores because they do kind of tighten your skin. Big believer in using retinoids and I use a 0.1% Retin-A cream for helping to resurface your skin, make it look smoother. The smoother your skin is, the better your pores will look. And finally, the other thing Renee mentioned that I am a definite true believer in is when you come home at night and you're getting ready for bed, double cleansing. Make sure your skin is clean before you go to bed. Don't go to bed with any makeup on. I do a double cleanse every night. I rotate a lot of different cleansers, a lot of different makeup removing creams to double cleanse, but I make sure that by the time I am done with that second cleanse, when I dry my face off with my towel, there's absolutely no residual makeup left on that towel, no sunscreen. I use a heavy amount of mineral sunscreen during the day on my face and neck, and I definitely want to make sure that is all removed before I start applying my skincare products at night so my skincare products do what they're supposed to be doing and work for me. That is it. This is kind of a regurgitated video of Renee's. I just feel that the video she did on pores was so good and was so spot on and the products that she suggested were definitely tried and true. I wanted to mention that for anyone that is looking to help improve the look of their pores. Take care guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.